Welcome back to the program. Remember, this is the Economy Trend Pointer program, your favorite program that comes on your screens every Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Today, we are discussing the Brexit, of course, with my panelists here. So stay tuned as we take you through the process. Welcome again, gentlemen. And before we went for a break, we, uh, we, we discussed about the, the impact of the Brexit to Britain. Now, we, I, I'd wish us to narrow it down to Africa now. What's the impact of Brexit to African countries? Dr. Saisi. Uh, to me, in the short run, African countries are enjoying because of what? The depreciation of the pound. Mm. You know, if the, if the pound depreciates, and you know, we African countries, we export a lot of these uh, raw materials and, and so on. And um, you know, a pound is always expensive. You have to have so many shillings mm -hmm. to get one. Okay. But now, since the, the, the Brexit, uh, since that action, uh, the, the, the pound has dropped. And therefore, it means we need to have less shillings to have more dollars and more pounds. So for now, we are still celebrating. <laughs> we <don't laughs> the American countries are celebrating. Yeah, because of, because of that pound, okay. you know, the guy depreciating. Mm -hmm. we, so it has already kicked off. The, the devaluation has begun. Yeah, the devaluation has begun because, you know, you know when they talk about devaluation pound, you know, that shock that people are saying, ah, you know, first of all, when, when you see some changes, you first of all, you, 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 you feel frightened. Sure. And then when you are frightened, you take some time and re-evaluate. Right. And when you are doing that, there's no money, a lot of money flowing into Britain. And that is why their, sh their, their pound may become uh, weak. Mm -hmm. Because other countries are saying, mm -hmm. should we continue uh, working with Britain or not? If so, how the modalities are supposed to change? Okay. And therefore, when they stand when aloof, first of all, they say, let us rethink about our strategy. Okay. The, the, that means, we don't have this foreign currency flowing into uh, Britain the way they're supposed to. And hence, it makes the, their pound to be weaker and for the betterment of African countries. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Sele, because Short, of time? Short-lived. It might be short-lived, oh. but that is the short run, we okay. Dr. Aria say. Okay. In the long run, you'll find that uh, if we have the goods which you are exporting, for example, to European whatever, but now it was specifically to Britain, we might not do it. Okay. And if we do it, we'll do it at their own tariffs okay. for Britain. Mm -hmm. That means, in the long run, we might have the effect of no longer exporting the goods which were available to wear to Britain at a cheaper or at a very income which you are able to, to receive. Mm -hmm. that, that, that to me is uh, in the long run, okay. but not the short run. Okay. But short lived, let us celebrate. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, do you think the mi migration from, uh, of Kenyans from Kenya to Britain. Uh, Britain is going to remain the same? No, it <coughs> might not. It will not. Not even might. It will not. Mm -hmm. Reason being, Britain will come up with their own what? Policies, Policies decisions to Choice. when. What are you supposed to when you before you come? What are you required to do and all that, or to actually have attained? Mm -hmm. So you might find that uh, we will go to the European whatever, but not might not be to Britain. If to Britain, then. At a, at a certain cost. Okay. Yes. For me, for me, I think when it comes to immigration, mm -hmm. it will still remain the same. Okay. What they are looking at is about the European Union members, yeah. but not us. Oh, we are not a for us, not sure. we are not a member of the European Union, mm -hmm. and whatever has been there, you must yeah. have a visa before you go there, mm -hmm. and it will remain. I don't think that will have any effect on our movement. Mm -hmm. It will be status quo. Because nothing is going to change. Okay. Yeah. What about? Uh, I'm still not for that. Mm -hmm. Because the reason being, mm -hmm. uh, when it is the European, whatever, you know, Britain were following whatever they were following with the European. If they were, maybe they had left the market or to the people were coming in freely or whatever, they could have been minimum. If you go to that European, whatever, it you could even go to Britain. But Britain might now come in and say, look, no, before you come, you must have additional information. Okay. Which to me, I don't know might be an entrance to us. I think they have this visa called what? something, they have a name, and they have been to, to, to Germany. When you go to Germany, you are supposed to move anywhere in Europe. 
yeah. but not in Britain. Country. But not in Britain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. In Britain, you had to seek for a visa to go to Britain. Uh -huh. And I will tell you that. Mm. You know, I flew several times to Europe, but when I wanted to go to Britain, I had to get a visa mm -hmm. for that. So, uh, that's why I'm saying, to us Africans, the policy has not changed. Because the 27 countries you could travel in mm -hmm. with, with, the, with, with that visa. Yeah. You could go to Germany, <coughs> Netherlands, anywhere, mm -hmm. except Britain. Britain. So, you know, if they, if they <laughs> add more, if they add yeah, more... Do you, do you agree with that, <laughs> Sasa Isi? Well, it, it could be, but at, with additional, if they bring in additional, if they don't, then it will remain the same. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the best thing, if they will say now, we shall treat Africans like Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> that is an advantage. <laughs> so it will be an advantage. But they don't, they don't treat us like that. Uh -huh. Even a European person used to go to Britain okay. free. Mm -hmm. But now it will affect them. Maybe they need visa. Mm -hmm. But African, you must have a visa. Mm -hmm. Even if you have the European visa, mm -hmm. you must have the British visa. Mm -hmm. Unless they are going to say, now we are going to treat Europeans mm -hmm. like Africans. Mm -hmm. or, or since... Now we have come out of the European, mm -hmm. we are going now to ask everybody to have a visa to come to people. Okay. I don't know. Okay, thank you so much, gentlemen, and again, how, does, uh, how is this Brexit going to affect the trade between Britain and Kenya? Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I, think, I, I think it doesn't matter really. What I would say is just because in the short run we are going to have this depreciation of the pound mm -hmm. that will make us export more if the demand of our goods and services will be needed in, in Britain. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, I'm seeing us going to the same thing because European Union will be there, Britain will be there. You can either export your goods in Britain based on their, their, their prices there mm -hmm. or in the European Union. Mm -hmm. So Britain must play it uh, safe. safe. Okay. Because if European Union wants to finish them, mm -hmm. they might say the prices of flowers go down. And then if British, then it will force the British to lower mm -hmm. and yet their market is not as big as European Union mm -hmm. so uh, British may start now crying foul okay. and so that, that's what I'm, I'm looking mm -hmm. at I don't know about my yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you are I'm still for Britain yeah. suppose Britain reduces the, 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 the those are whatever it will make us to import the, or to export to those countries but really it what what really matters here is um, how will the Britain come up with their policies for the international trade mm -hmm. it might not really be it might come up with their own which is affecting kenya or africa and all that mm -hmm. if it is affecting kenya mm -hmm. is it going to be favorable or not mm -hmm. that, that, that that to me is the issue because they are now deciding they are now to make a decision by the way it's no longer the european union mm -hmm. they are now the ones to decide and say no look mm -hmm. we need only flowers from kenya for example mm -hmm. then it might give us something favorable if we don't need the flowers from kenya then the tariff might go up. Okay. So it depends with the Britain, the way Britain will play their Astakari as side. Mm -hmm. yeah. And again, there's this norm of exchanging players between UK and EU, European Union mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. Is this still going to remain the same or there's going to be a change? It will change. It will change. It will change in the sense that uh, the immigration issues mm -hmm. will come in. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll, they'll say now, instead of just players moving here and there, there must be a caveat in there mm -hmm. to say you must do ABCD. Okay. Because now Britain is being looked at uh, differently from the entire Europe. Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe rules were there that were being followed by European Union that, uh, about uh, players, soccer players mm -hmm. in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. And now because the Euro uh, Britain was under European Union, mm -hmm. they were obliged to follow that. Mm -hmm. But now since they have pulled out, mm -hmm. Maybe they are going to say for a player from uh, 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 Dutchland mm -hmm. to, to Britain, you must now uh, increase the cost yeah. because this is a different uh, country entity, mm -hmm. entity mm -hmm. compared mm -hmm. to others. Okay. And then the others will say, no, we just remain the same mm -hmm. because the same rules govern us. Mm -hmm. But Britain says those rules don't affect us. So you will be, either when they come here, you have to pay more and the stringent immigration rules than before. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your sentiments. Because of time, we really have to go so fast. And in your final remarks, I'd love that you tell us on whether the Central Bank of Kenya has uh, any capacity to intervene in the Brexit. Mr. Sele. Mm, Central Bank of Kenya has a, 
as the representative of Kenya in terms of uh, policies and all that, they can do so, but uh, they have to, this is a short run. To me, it's a short run. So if they have to, they have to do the long run, the long run intervention in the sense that we might see the shilling that is not the shilling, the shilling is a bit the pound, just we are like to natural care. But at the end of the day, we we'll actually have it, it might stabilize or it might not. Okay. So to me, central bank really have to make be cautious. Be very cautious in the, the policy they will come up with. Okay. Thank you. But according to the governor of central bank, okay. Njuguna, he okay. said that. Uh, is it his name? Jorogi. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dr. Patrick, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about it. He stated that our economy is okay. We have uh, six hundred million dollars on reserve that we can service goods and services worth five months for our country. So we are as good as yesterday. Yeah, covering so the short run. In, in the short run. That's what he said. In because the short run. In the short run, the six hundred million dollars are there to service goods and services that are worth five months that we normally import to our country. Okay. So that those shocks can be absorbed within five months. And five months is okay. It's not, by that time, I think things would have settled down. So I, I have a lot of confidence in Joroke when he talks. Okay. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for taking your time to shed some light on the Brexit. And thank you so much, viewers, for staying tuned to the economy trend pointer until next Wednesday until next Tuesday God bless you